currently two of the most popular automation tools are definitely Zapier and Pebbly. However, unfortunately, none of them are available on a lifetime deal and their subscription plans are super expensive. So if you're looking for an alternative to Zapier or Pebbly and that on a lifetime deal, today I have just the right product for you. So before I start the review, make sure you subscribe to our channel. I'm talking about Processio and as you can see, it stops your manual work. It reduces cost, it saves your time and it mitigates the risks that are associated with manual workflows. And as you can see, Procio is going to automate your whole workflows just like this one. And there are a lot of features with Procio. You can have your own custom actions. There are webhooks as triggers. You can also use Procio's own cloud service or if you want, you can even deploy your own server. There is document designer, API integrations and scheduler. And as I have said earlier, Processio is available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal, which means by paying only $49, you can get lifetime access to Processio. And keep in mind, the regular pricing is over $3,600. So if you want to buy this AppSumo deal, make sure you check the link in the description. And as you can see, Processio is an alternative to Make and Zapier. Now let's have a look at the features. So these are the features. There are custom actions, webhook, document designer, and so many other features and these are the tiers that you can buy so the tier 1 cost $49 and you can get 3 hours of execution time per month on this package tier 2 cost $99 with 6 hours per month and the license tier 3 cost $149 and the execution time per month is 9 hours there are some other tiers the highest one is tier 5 with a price of $349 and execution time of 30 hours per month Processio also has subscription plans. As you can see, there are free plan, the cloud plan and the cloud on-premise plan. After you log into Processio, you will get this dashboard and from here you can see some details about your plan such as the plan name, the monthly execution time, the usage and other stats. And on the left side, you can see some of the functions of Processio. So this is the process section and there are some subsections such as the designer, the credential manager, data models, document designer. And from the automation section, there are some other subsections such as schedules, webhooks and API key. So the tab that you are going to use the most has to be process designer. From here, you have to create your process, the automation that we were talking about earlier. And for that, you have to click on create new. And as as you can see this is the editor from where you are going to set your automations create new automations so there are already two actions the start and stop no matter what types of action you create these two actions are always essential the start indicates the beginning of your action and stop indicates the stoppage and as you can see on the platform actions you can see all of the actions that are already pre-made by Processio. so there are a lot of actions and there are also some sections for different actions so if you are looking for an action related to database you can open this one and then you can access SQL server execute query execute command and then there are some actions for documents so for documents there are a lot of actions if you're someone who is regularly working with documents Processio is going to be super useful for you as you can see using Processio you can convert HTML to PDF export to CSV export to Excel SX write to file and so many other options there are also data time, FTP, JSON, XPath and so on. And the best part about this action tab or the editor of this automation is that you can even create your custom action by clicking on this custom action section. And for that you have to click on this create custom action and then you can upload your NuGet package. The maximum file limit is 100 megabytes. So keep in mind. And from the right side of this action, there are some other options such as process variables, credentials, data models, webhooks. So these are the options that I showed you earlier on dashboard you can also access them directly from here and then on the top right there are some other options such as you can save your process or the automation so once you create an automation by this custom action or this platform actions the pre-made actions by Processio you can save it to the process page and before saving I always 
recommend to validate your action or the automation because there can be different types of errors on your automation or your process so you can prevent that by validating your data from here so now let's talk about action what is these actions are and how to use them for that I have to go back to the process manager and as you can see there are already one process that are pre-made so let's open this one so as you can see this is a complete process or automation but what it does right so as you can see on its name it gets the weather report for you and how does that happen so the first action as I have said earlier is start and then there is the action of getting weather details then the description the temperature the precipitation the wind humidity feels like and then it generates a document based on all of these actions and then the automation stops so just like this way you can make whatever automation you want and all you have to do is select the proper actions from these sections you can also obviously upload your own custom action from here so let me show you how this weather report works Works. let's first validate it and as you can see process was validated successfully which means there is no error on this process and it is completely okay to run so let's run this process or automation and you may already know that it is about weather report but the weather report cannot be generated based on any random cities right you have to provide one city so let's type a name it is going to be London and then click on run so the process has started running and to get the status of your process you have to go to this process instances tab and as you can see it has been succeeded to run properly so let's open this one and then click on show details as you can see all of the actions have been performed properly all of the actions have this sign icon which means there was no problem in running any of these actions and to get the details or the temperature of the weather report you have to click on these variables and then as you can see the temperature of London is 6 the description is that the city is partly cloudy the precipitation is zero the wind is 28.1 so as you can see the information or the details are still in variable mode so if you want to see them in a super reader friendly mode you have to click on this download icon so as you can see there was one action that is called generate document so the weather report is supposed to generate a document that is very easy to read and you can find the document on this download button so let's click on it and as you can see the weather report has been downloaded so let's open it so here is our weather report and it is presented in a very nice way as you can see there is an image then the weather forecast and weather in London it is cloudy the temperature is 16 degrees Celsius feels like 16 degrees Celsius and then there are some other statistics so just like this automation that has generated weather report for you based on the city name you can also generate a lot of automations just like Zapier and Pebbly and for that you have to use these actions or your custom actions so let's go back to the process designer and as you can see this is the only process that I have created and I have also showed you by running it and then there are some other options here like credential managers and as you can see there are two configurations so the weather API is validated but the crash course is still not validated then there is the data models document designer and from this document designer you can change the design of the PDF document that we opened earlier to show you the weather report let's click on it so as you can see this is the template of the weather report and you can make a lot of different types of adjustments to this template you can change this image you can replace it you can align it you can add caption remove it insert link and so many other options you you can also change this text the city so these are the variables that I have showed you earlier so you can adjust this whole design according to your needs by changing the text or the image adding your own image adding your own variables and so on so I have just showed you a very simple automation of weather report but on Processio you can use the platform for a lot of different types of tasks and the weather report was a simple no code automation or process but you can also use Processio with low code or full code and take your workflows to the next level and here are some of the examples of the use cases of Processio so as you can see it could be used for e-invoice approval flows in email chatbot and a lot of other use cases 
So overall, I think Processio is an excellent tool that is a very capable alternative to Zapier and Pebbly. I really like how they have a lot of pre-made actions and they have also added the chance to add your own actions, which is really good because a lot of the times there are some advanced coding experts that have to deal with very complicated processes. So in that cases, they can use their own codes and take help from Processio to cut manual tasks and automate their whole workflow. So if you want to buy this Epsomo deal, you can check the link in the description below. From there, you can buy this Epsomo deal. So these are the features and these are the tiers. There is also another two tiers, the tier 4 and the tier 5. So that's it for our today's video. I hope you have liked the video. If you do, subscribe to our channel and let me know what you think about Processio, how it compares to Zapier or Pabli or other similar tools. So stay tuned for our next video. Till then, goodbye.